I'm the master trickster. The master trickster. I'm the prince of pranks. Prince of pranks. Well, everyone in town, from my folks to my buddies, know of my unquenchable thirst for pranks. Besides charm and glory, I've got one dream of glory to get listed in the record books. I'm the master trickster. I'm the prince of pranks. I've learned two things from all of this. A, pranking is a dirty business, and B, if you can beat the smell, you got it licked. Ah! Dude couldn't look more awesome. Just think, Danny. Two weeks of hard work and sleepless nights are about to pay off. Enlisting the kindergarten kids was a stroke of huh? genius. What? Uh. Huh? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah! I've seen an atomic wedgie, a nuclear wedgie, but I've never seen a doomsday wedgie before. I figured the world was ready. And now for phase two. Come on, Craigster. Walk it off, dude. Oh. And now the icing on the Craig. East Cackle Sports News. Where can we find Craig Bennett? Oh, my. Um... How does it feel to be the East Gackle Regional MVP quarterback? Oh, well, hey, look over there! Wait! I have more to ask you! <laughs> wow, I really didn't expect him to run like that. Good for him! So was it worth it, all the time and effort? <laughs> oh, totally worth it. <laughs> Andy, I need a word with you. It's about your grades, or lack thereof. You have some serious catching up to do, Andy. It's like eating pies. Once you have a pie, you want another and another until you're stuffed. So you should never eat too many pies. Oh, wow, that's totally impressive. Okay, maybe that's not a good example. Maybe she heard about my prank on the Craigster. <laughs> Andy, I told you two weeks ago to buckle down and study hard. So, are you prepared? Uh, <sighs> um, yeah, in a way. <sighs> Look, Mr. Hutchins, I always manage to pass, so don't worry. Well, just so you know, this semester you will need a B plus or better on all the exams if you want to pass the year. No problem. What? A B plus? Those are grades geniuses get. Like, what happens if I don't get a B plus? Well, you'll be put in remedial class. Oh, well, there's no remedial class in this school, we'll so... We'll be starting one just for you. <laughs> uh... C-A-T. Can you say cat, Andy? Hell... I'm going to get that B-plus, Mr. Hutchins, if it's the last thing I do. And it probably will be. I can't go in remedial. Lori would never date me then. Then maybe you should have been studying, like the rest of us. When did you have time to study? You were helping me with a prank. I don't know. Whenever I got home, during study periods, it's easy to find time when you want to pass your exams. If I don't pass, it'll leave Lori wide open and Jervis is going to get right in there. Then let's get cracking. Is it feeding time at the zoo? <laughs> no, I'm describing an ellipse. Well, I would love to see this. <laughs> That's hardly an ellipse. 
don't you have a seat and show us how it's done, Jervis? <laughs> Give me that banana. Shut up! Word is, they're looking for a teacher who'll take on your new remedial class. Okay, I'll give you a line from a famous play, and you name the play and who wrote it. To be or not to be? Easy. Oscar Wilde. Not even close. A2, Brute? I didn't know we were doing French, too. Hmm? Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? I know this one. It's from Mitch the Gardener of Evil, part four. What? You know, they're looking for that guy named Romeo in the pumpkin patch, but they only find his hand. Oh, somebody save me. That was from Mitch part six, when the mutant zombie potatoes were attacking the farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Algebra, here I come. Okay, easy stuff here. I'll show you an equation, and you give me the answer. The answer is, uh, zero? It's a trick card. The answer is A. It's right there. Oh. <sighs> Maybe a word problem would be easier. Train A is leaving the station at 1.45 p.m. Train B leaves at 2.30 p.m. Both are headed west and... Are they steam engines or those super electric trains? Why? Would it affect how fast they're going? Nah, I just want to picture the right type of train in my head. No. Oh. If you're not even going to try... Hey, I'm giving 110%. We went over percentages. You know that 100% is the maximum. Hmm. <sighs> How are we going to get you to pull off a B plus? I'm exhausted and we still have another day of studying. I think it's all starting to sink in, though. Really? Yep. I'm going to be in remedial for the rest of my life. No. Oh. Not if I can help it. I know you've been hitting the books hard lately. It shows maturity. I have been studying a lot. I'll be at the library tonight after 8. If you want, we can study together. See ya! With Lori on my side, I'll probably end up on the honor roll. Oh yeah, that'll happen. There ain't nothing that can stop me now. Isn't anything. Your grammar, geez. Lori, did you happen to see Andy inside? He was supposed to meet me here 10 minutes ago. Yeah, he's sitting in his locker studying the little trooper. He's really changed, I can tell. Studying in his locker? Hey, wake up! And now is the summer of quadratic equations? Oh, Danny, sorry. Listen, Andy, instead of going to Beans and Burger, maybe you should go home and take a rest. Uh, yeah, I'll just go home and sleep perchance to dream. I mean, uh, get rested up for studying with the lovely Lori. On a roll, here I come. Andy, I must say I'm very proud of you for studying so hard. And I'll be heading back to the library tonight. Hmm. Ah! Mom, help me do my hair for the big game tonight! Ugh, she always ends up wearing it the same way. Coming! <sighs> uh, I should really get some rest. But there are some things that just cannot be passed up. Be right back. Hot sauce. The last time I used it, Spank got too close and the fur on his tail got singed. Never grew back. This meatloaf is going to pack quite a wallop. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Now for that much-needed nap. <sighs> oh, another pranking opportunity. Be right back. It's onion and herring. It fell behind my bookshelves a week ago. I'll just get my bag. <laughs> Okay, 
Hey, how's that? No! Oh, great! It's worse! Maybe I can borrow someone else's uniform. I better throw this out. How's a guy supposed to get some sleep with this racket going on? You are in big trouble, mister. Oh, if you weren't studying tonight, you'd be grounded. Oh, dinner is in five minutes. I'm not hungry. You can't study on an empty stomach. <laughs> Gee, honey, that's a spicy loaf you made. I need more water. Oh, maybe I used too much pepper. It's getting hotter. I heard that milk was supposed to be good for getting rid of that spicy aftertaste. <gasps> oh, careful, honey. <sighs> you know you're oh, mildly lactose intolerant. <gasps> Don't care. It burns. It... Oh, Andy. This isn't a prank, is it? Oh, my stomach. Mom, you know I was trying to nap. Look, I have to rest before I go to the library, so please... Keep the noise level down. No, honey! Not the whipped cream! <laughs> I just want to sleep. Sometimes my pranks work too well. Oh, no. <sighs> Shouldn't you be studying? I was trying to take a nap, but you two were making too much noise. <laughs> Hey, isn't that Craig? I'm gonna get you, Larkin, if it's the last thing I do. So, instead of studying, you've been wasting your time pranking Craig. <gasps> and Jen. And a perfectly good meat... <clears throat> Andy, if you know what's good for you, you'd better get to the library right now. We'll deal with your punishment after your exams. But I'm exhausted, and I don't have to meet Lori for a while. Can I just sleep a little? Go! Fine, I'm going. But I can't believe you're kicking me out when I have exams tomorrow. We're sending you to the library. I'm really hurt. Hey, Andy. Since when do you wear glasses? Hmm. So, I thought we'd start with geography. Then... <clears throat> huh? Hmm... Oh, oh, Lori, sorry. I must have dozed off there. You know, all that studying. Why did I think you'd actually make an effort? Hey, Lori, I saved you a seat. Please, Lori, I need your help. Hmm. Okay, after you help the remedial student. Oh, Ms. Scorn, Jervis is dog-earing pages again. <laughs> so, what's first? Huh? All right, and you do this, and then that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've reached a whole new level, Andy. I'm sorry, Lori. It's exhaustion. I'm telling you. I'm listening. I just want to say thanks for helping me study and... Too little too late, though, eh, Larkin? Allow me to walk you home. I must say, Jervis, it's a little creepy, you lurking around. <laughs> oh, that's rich. Especially this being a library and there being an exam tomorrow. Come on, Lori. Let's go for a burger. Mm -hmm. Some people keep forgetting we have an exam tomorrow. Ugh. I'd appreciate it if you would walk me home, Jervis. <laughs> I'd like to see you prank yourself out of failing, prank boy. Did that sound like a dare to you? Because it sounded a lot like a dare to me. <sighs> okay, I gotta come up with a prank that'll buy me some more study time. <sighs> and show that lousy Jervis. Come on, something. 
Uh, a tree. Rock. Litter. Oh, man. I'm gonna need help. What are you doing here? I just fell asleep. You gotta help me, Danny. This is gonna be the big one. The prank? Always talk about. Oh, aren't they all? Come on, Danny. You're my right-hand man. You mean sidekick. Somebody's cranky. Cranky? You rushed me out of my nice soft bed, didn't even let me change, and now I'm outside in the middle of the night. Do you really want to miss this? Fine, let's go. So, what's the prank? I don't know yet. I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> it's Prank Man! And his faithful sidekick! <sighs> and just... How is this supposed to help you think better? Uh, I think better when I'm laying down. Besides, you get what you pay for. Uh, huh? huh? That raccoon sure wants something. That stupid raccoon has kept me up all night! It's that sandwich you had to put in your cheerleading bag. <laughs> yes! I even wrapped it in seven bags before throwing it out. Well, it didn't work. I can still smell it from here. I thought that smell was you. I smell a prank. Come on! Ah, the sweet smell of success. <laughs> well, not only are you exhausted, but you've lost your sense of smell. Ow! Hey, that lousy raccoon threw it back! Come on, let's get this putrid puppy to school. Okay, open the vent. These should work. Ugh. Turn up the heat. It'll make it stew. Great thinking, Danny. <gasps> Someone's coming. Let's blow this pop stand. Forgetting something, are we, Mr. Larkin? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that wearing underwear in a test is an automatic fail! You're busted down to kindergarten! Yeah. <gasps> Phew! It was just a dream. Why, Andy, you're amazing! You get 100%. If it weren't for the fact that you're naked! <laughs> Phew. What? Yeah. I just, I just had, had the weirdest, weirdest dream. dream. Why is it so hot in here? It's almost as hot as my Nana's house. Why doesn't it stink yet? Mr. Hutchins, it's too hot in here to take an exam. That's my cue. Hey, let's not get carried away. Just get the janitor to turn on the AC. Great idea, Andy. I'll do that right away. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The smell reminds me of the garbage dump I used to live next to in Winnipeg. It smells like Jen from yesterday's game. Oh! Chick, please! He put a sandwich in my gym bag yesterday. It was the same smell! Uh-oh. Well, thank you very much, Larkin. Because of you, we have to reschedule the exams for next week. After the fumigation! Yeah! Yeah! Keep it moving. 
once again, you raise the bar for all those two-bit prankster clones out there. Yes, there is only one world's greatest prankster. Not you, Larkin. You're coming with me. You put the sandwich in. Now you're gonna get it out. <laughs> <sighs> What a stink! <laughs> hey! Quit it, I don't want your stinking sandwich! <laughs> oh, gross! I'm sure you're thinking that if I put as much effort into studying as I did into pranking, I'd be on the honor roll. But that wouldn't be near as much fun. <laughs> Ow! Quit it! <laughs>